is a scripture in 2 Kings 1, or a story. It talks about Moab. It says, Moab rebelled. Sorry, Joseph, I didn't give you this one. It said, Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ahab. And Azahiah fell down through a lattice in his upper chamber that was in Samaria. I'm going to go through it quick. It's just a story about a god of Ekron. He says, whether I shall recover of this disease. It says, but the angel of the Lord said to Elijah, the Tishabet, arise, go up and meet the messengers of the king of Samaria and say unto them, is it not because there is not a God in Israel that you go to inquire of Baalzeb, the God of Elkron? It says, now therefore, thus saith the Lord, that thou shalt not come down from the bed, which thou art going up, but you shall surely die. And Elijah departed. And when the messengers turned back to him, he said unto him, why are you now turned back? Just go further down, like verse 8. They answered him. He was a hairy man, the gird, um, the girdle of his leather about loins. And he said, it's Elijah. Then the king sent him to a captain of 50 with his 50. And he went up to him, and behold, he sat on top of a hill. And he spoke, and he said unto him, there are man of God, the king hath said, come down. And Elijah said, and said to the captain of 50, if I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And there came down a fire from heaven and it consumed him and his 50. Further on down, I'm just going to paraphrase everything. This king was sending 50 people to Elijah to get a message. And Elijah is just calling down fire from heaven and killing them. He's just killing them left and right. And so by now, Elijah is sitting on top of a hill with the angel of the Lord. And in verse 15, it says the angel of the Lord, because now they're asking for Elijah to come down. And it says the angel of the Lord said to Elijah, go down with him. And he says to Elijah, be not afraid of him. And he arose and he went down with him unto the king. And I started wondering, here is Elijah who is killing people by fire, left and right. But when they ask him to come down, the angel says, don't be afraid. Why? You're killing people left and right, fire. You have no, I'm thinking like, no, what do you have to be afraid of? to go down. And the thing that I was asking the Lord, he was afraid of the uncertainty. He didn't know what was going to happen to him. He's like, yeah, I I did this by fire, but if I go down, I don't know what's going to happen to me. And a lot of times we live our lives because we don't know the uncertainty. It's like we're afraid because We don't know what's going to happen. And JCC, I'm coming today to tell you about the power of hope. We may not know tomorrow, just like we didn't know last week. We may not know the week after next. But one thing that we have and that we do know is that there is a God. One thing that we do have and that we do know is the word of God. And one thing that we do have and that we do know is we have faith. And JCC, we cannot let our faith, our faith in God, the faith that Almisha had, the trust in God that she had to just go by the wayside because of one thing, Lord, that we said, Lord, this is too much for us. I said, man, Lord, I refuse. Because she would want us to refuse. She would want us to say, oh, no, you all better get up and do something. And my thing is, the path of the righteous shineth brighter and brighter. JCC, I refuse for us to be in a mindset of defeat or a mindset of, Lord, what are we going to do now? We're going to do the same thing we did when we lost Pastor Cha. We're going to do the same thing we did when we lost Sanchea. And we're going to do the same thing again. And that is we're going to get up and stand on the word of God and still believe and still trust God. 
I've never heard God say you got to understand everything. He only asks to trust, for us to trust him. That's all he asks. It's never, oh, you have to understand why I'm doing this. No, it's always God is in control, and he's the one on the throne. I understand we got questions, JCC. I understand we want to know why on everything. But he said, trust me. Trust me. Oh, I said, Lord, if us all that we can do is trust you, help me, Lord, to trust you. If this is just for us to grow in our trust, I said, Lord, in any relationship, for me, it's important to trust. If I can't trust you, why am I in a relationship with you? So God is saying, trust me even in this to see the goodness of the Lord, to see the land of the living. JCC, I was thinking about when people or things happen in families or when people die, we always wonder why. But do we ever think, man, sometimes that family member may come to Christ because this person believed, because this person died. Sometimes we may not see 10 years from now that somebody's serving God, that somebody's believing God. I know sometimes it hurts because we don't want to believe as far as Lord. Why did it take that person? But when we say we are willing vessel, be a willing vessel. That means in all things, be a willing vessel. Because God is saying, I need to populate the kingdom of heaven. So we have to be a willing vessel, whatever it takes. So when I'm saying the God of Almisha, Lord, help me. I said, Lord, if there's anything that I can get from Almisha, help me get two things. She loved God and she loved people. Let me get those two things, Lord. If I don't get nothing else but to love God the way that she loved. I was thinking, man, Pastor Peter talked about the Holy Spirit last week and the relationship. Almisha loved the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, Lord, if I can get that, help me. Help me, Lord, to get that. And I said, Lord, if there's anything, JCC, that we can get from this and to grow, just loving people. Loving people. I'm not very patient with people. I, I will admit that. When I, man, sometimes telling people I'm, I'm, I'm here. But Almisha had a patience with people. And wanted to see the best in people. And I'm like, JCC, when he says, even though the tree is cut down, there is hope. There is hope, JCC. I know we may not see it now. I know it may be two, three. It can be a month from now before we're seeing. But y'all should know, we are going to see that root sprout up again. We are going to see that fruit being produced. We are going to see that which God has started and I'm telling you what he's going to do just from that. So, JCC, I want you to stand up on your feet. When we talk about worship and praise songs and how the words are, it's just different now, the different meanings. When I was in prayer the other night, I said, Lord, it really does. I was uh, singing and I told I told mom, man, the words, you know, Alpha and Omega, you are Alpha and Omega. It's, it's different. And then I started singing because of who you are. It wasn't because of anything. It's like, Lord, because of who you are, I worship you. It's not because of what you've done for me. It's not because of who my, who's in my life. It's because of who you are. If we get to that place, JCC, where it's because of who he is that things don't change. When we talk about being, he's an anchor. Is he an anchor where, man, I can be put in a storm, but, but because of who he is, I won't be tossed to and from. Because of what he said, I won't be tossed to and from. Because of what he's done in the past. I won't be tossed to and from. I know, and I'm saying, and I'm not taking it lightly. Yes, there is pain, and I'm not denying it. But JCC, can we, as a church, 
as a group of believers, come together and stand on truth and what we know to be fact. That he is God and he changes not. He changes not. He changes not. Regardless of what we go through, he changes not. He is not a man that he shall lie, nor the son of man that he shall repent. That he is still God. He's still the one that will give you a house. He's still the one that will give you the mate. He's still the one that healed you yesterday. He's still the one that will heal today. He's still the one that gives you testimonies. He's the same God when we go through good and bad. So he doesn't change just because someone has been taken away. Jesus, he's still God. Oh, my thing is, Lord, we know where she is. We know where she is. Help me, Lord. I know where she is. That's the greater thing, to know where she is. <coughs> Excuse me. And the thing, JCC, today, there is power and hope. We have to hope for to see a better tomorrow. We have to hope to see, Lord, a better, a better JCC because of this. We have to hope to see a revival because of this. We have to hope to see lives change because of this. We have to hope to see our hearts change because of this. JCC, we can't stay the same. That means, man, her death was in vain. If we, re if we stay the same, her death was in vain. I refuse. I refuse to be the same. Lord, that's right. We have to go to another level. Every, every season, it has to require another level, JCC. So I'm here to tell you there's power in hope. And I just want us to arise in our hope, JCC. Strengthen our feeble knees and let's keep moving. One more scripture. When it talked about the lepers, the ten lepers, man, they could have stayed there. And Jesus said, as you walk, you will be healed. As you walk, you are healed. So as we walk, JCC, we are healed. As we walk, we are being healed. As we walk, as we continue to do outreach, as we continue to do as far as our praise, our worship, as we continue to do that, we are being healed. So we can't just sit here and stay in this place. We have to go and continue to be healed. Amen? And I'm telling you, as people see us walking, as people see us being healed, it's going to help somebody else. It's going to heal somebody else. It will be for somebody else, JCC. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen.